Hi everybody. So I wanted to do a little um, pregnancy questions type thing before the baby comes. Um, so I wrote 12 down. I should probably be doing this with Billy, but I thought it would be fun to just go ahead and uh, me answer them and then I intend on making more videos. So I'll probably have his input um, in a different video. So it's very exciting uh, because it is October. I got my fall <laughs> clothing on, my dark lips. Um, today is October 2nd and Baby Awaits is due October 30th. He's been wanting to come out sooner, so we'll see if he lasts until then. Um, but I just thought this would be a little fun thing to do um, before he does come. So we'll go ahead and get started with the first question. So, how did you know you were pregnant? Um, I didn't for the longest time. Uh, I didn't find out I was pregnant until I was six weeks, which I feel is a long time to not know. Um, I didn't have any symptoms in the very, very beginning. The only reason that I found out that I was pregnant was because I started to get a little bit nauseous. I wasn't throwing up. Um, I have chronic back pain and my back was acting up a lot more, um, but I didn't really think much of it. And then when I started to get nauseous, I was like, okay, well, maybe something's up. So I decided to take a pregnancy test and sure enough, I was pregnant. Um, so yeah, I always say that was kind of like um, God's way of telling me because otherwise I wouldn't have known. Literally after I found out, maybe it still happened for two to three weeks um, to where I still got a little nauseous and then after that, I was perfectly fine the rest of my pregnancy. So yeah, otherwise I wouldn't have known. <laughs> Um, second question, who was the first to know? Well, <laughs> um, technically the first person to know was my best friend, Melissa, because I was just so nervous and I didn't really know what to do. I didn't want to get anybody excited if it, you know, if it wasn't true or so. So I actually went to her house after work one day and um, I took the pregnancy test at her house, found out once again that I was pregnant. And I remember when I um, took it, I was like, oh my goodness, maybe I did this wrong. Because like literally as soon as I took it, it showed up right away. I didn't have to wait a minute or two. Like it automatically told me, you're pregnant. And I was just thinking, oh my God, like I must really, really, really be pregnant. <laughs> um, which I mean, I was, I was six weeks pregnant, but um, yeah, she was the first one to know being that I did take the test at her house. And then um, second person to know was obviously Billy because as soon as I took it, I was like, okay, I gotta go, ran home um, to go ahead and tell him. And so yeah. <laughs> Uh, third question, how did you tell your loved ones? We didn't really have like a whole big thing. Um, Billy took care of like his side of the family and really told them. Um, and when it came to my side of the family, that was probably the one that we were most nervous to tell. I don't know. Um, my parents are very traditional. So, uh, although I had gotten engaged already, we weren't quite yet married. So we were still a little bit nervous of what they were going to say. Um, but really, really funny. What ended up happening is, uh, we went over to my parents' house because by then I wasn't living with them. I was living with the Billy and, um, we went over to my parents' house and they were all sitting at the table. I think they had just gotten done um, eating dinner. So it was my parents and my uh, younger sister was there visiting as well. So it was just the three of them. And we were sitting down, we were chatting a little bit. Um, and then I just 
go ahead and say, um, we have something to tell you guys. And um, my dad stops us before we continue and he says, um, oh, so should I grab a beer? I start laughing and I'm like, I don't know, like, if you want to, <laughs> you know, like, I think he kind of like foreseen what was coming. Um, so that was really funny. And then uh, he actually says, okay, well, let Billy tell us which I thought was hilarious, and I was already nervous as it is. So I was like, okay, Billy, go ahead and tell them. Um, so Billy actually ends up letting them know that we're pregnant, and they stayed quiet for what seemed like two minutes. Well, it seemed like 10 minutes, but they were probably quiet for like two. And then um, my younger sister, she was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Like, um, this is this is crazy. And then afterwards, they're like, okay, you know, got up and hugged me and everything. They've been very supportive the entire time. Um, but it was just funny how that came about. So I mean, we didn't really have like a whole, we didn't like wait or make anything special. Sorry, my hair is going a little crazy. It's healthy. I'm perfectly fine with whatever, you know, boy or girl. Um, so with a girl, she'd probably be a little mini me. <laughs> and a boy, he is just going to be trouble. I already know it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so baby is a boy. What are you most excited about? Um, I think the most exciting thing for me I just overall, I think just um, having him, I think about it and I think, you know, a year ago I was working three jobs, um, barely even had any time to see Billy. Now, you know, I'm pregnant and within a year I'm going to be chasing, you know, a little one-year-old. So it's just very mind-blowing. Um, I'm excited to meet him. I'm excited to, um see what he thinks is funny like it I don't know I want to see his personality I want to see uh who he grows up to be I'm just excited to meet him I guess that's the the main thing um what am I most scared about most scary part that's my dog over there he scared me <laughs> um thing that I would be most scared about, well, obviously it's a delivery part, um, for sure, because I have never had a broken bone. I've sprained, um, my ankle, my tailbone, you know, I've, I've never actually experienced pain at that amount. Um, so that's the one thing <laughs> that's the most scary. Um, and then I know there's like no perfect way of raising your child. Um, there's going to be plenty of mistakes along the way, especially because he is the first. But I just hope and pray um, that we can just give him everything that he needs. Not everything that he wants, but I guess just everything that he needs. I'm scared, you know, that I might not do it right, but I think that's, that's part of what makes you a good parent. Um, it keeps you on your toes. So we'll see. <laughs> um, how did you come up with the name? Okay, so his name is still being debated. Um, his, well, his middle name. His first name is already set. So his first name is Always. Um, it's kind of like Oasis, but without the ending. So just always. Now, <laughs> funny story. Um, Billy always wanted to name his child and it was kind of like a joke. Um, always hustle hover. I don't know. Boys, you know. Um, I really liked the name always. I thought that was very unique. I thought it was, um, something just completely different you know my name is Jessica Lopez and it is 
the most common name in the world, um, both first and last name. So, and then I just saw on YouTube the other day, my last name will be changing to Hover soon. Um, and I just saw on YouTube the other day that there's this girl named Jessica Hover. So I'm pretty sure it's still going to continue being common. Um, but I wanted something different because when I was in a classroom, there was like 10 girls that were saying, named the same. They would try and call me by last name. And then I still had another, um, couple people, you know, that had the same last name. So I just wanted something a little bit different. Yes, we're not going to find anything with his name on it, but that's okay. He'll just get custom things, I guess. Um, so that's his first name. And, um... Also, because of Oasis, the band. So that's something that I really liked. Um, we like the band as well. So that was another thing. Uh, middle name is the one that's being debated. It's either going to be James, which is what Billy would like to name him. And I would like to name him Kai. Um, I think it just has like a better flow to it. Oasis Kai Hover. Oasis James Hover. I don't know. Leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think. Maybe we can convince him for Kai. <laughs> um, so yeah, that one's still being debated. We'll see what happens. Um, do, 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 do. What characteristics do you wish he takes from you and from your spouse? So char characteristics uh, from me... Patience. <laughs> I think that's one of like the biggest things. Um, I get, yeah, I don't know. Patience from Billy would be hardworking, um, stubborn. I know that's probably not what people want to hear, but he's stubborn, I feel, in a good way. Like, if he puts his mind to something, he'll make it happen. So, that way. I guess very determined, not so much stubborn, but even if people tell him no, he'll be like, I got this. Um, as far as looks-wise, I really hope, oh, well, that's the next question. Who do you think he will look like? I really hope he looks like Billy. Like, obviously, I want him to look a little bit like me, too. But uh, I want him to have Billy's eyes. So he can have my face if he wants to um, with Billy's eyes. I just really, really hope he has some pretty neat eyes. Um, Billy would say the opposite. He would say he wants him to have my eyes. My eyes are normal and brown. Oh, that's a close up. Um, but one eye is lighter than the other. So, um, one is like a little bit darker and it has a little triangle on the corner. I don't know. Um, a little triangle on the corner to where it's, um, the same color as the other eye. And then the other eye is really light. So it's not something that you can really tell. You can't really tell unless there's like certain um, eyeshadows that I wear or if I'm out on the light or if you're just really looking deep into my eyes. Um, but it's not super noticeable. And then I do have a birthmark in my eye. I believe I have it in both. But I have a pretty big birthmark in my eye. So Billy thinks that's awesome. Um, if he has my eyes, that would be great. I'd love him regardless. But Billy... Um, does have some pretty nice colored eyes. So I wish you get that from him. Um, what are three important things you would like to teach him? I obviously want to teach him respect. Um, that is a really, really big thing. Respect and manners, I think kind of go hand in hand. So I think I would count that more of a one instead of like two separate things. Um, I would also like him to be Three important things. I would like him to go for his dreams and know that they are obtainable and that we will be here to back him up. So um, definitely teaching him that 
school is a priority. Um, you know, whatever he wants to be, we will be fully with it. So I just want him to be committed. So there you go. Uh, committed would be the second one. And then um, finally, I would just like to teach him like um, family. I, I don't know how what word to actually use, but I want him to be able to rely um, on us. You know, whatever it is, if he needs to call at, you know, one o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, whatever it is, I want him to be able to rely on us fully and not be afraid of us, um, to not just look for us as a supportive way, but also, you know, if he is in need of help. So, um, those three things for sure. I mean, obviously there's going to be a lot more that I think we can teach him and he could learn from us and things that, um, we'll be able to learn from him too. So, I don't know. We'll have to update that question later as well. Uh, and then the last and final question is, are you ready to be a mom? Um, if you would have asked me this in the beginning of the pregnancy, I probably would have said no. Um, and I mean, still kind of no in a way. Am I ready to have a waist here? Most definitely. I am so excited. I love him so, so much. Um, as far as being ready, like I said, there's no manual that comes that tells you how, you know, to do things the right way or the wrong way. I know it's definitely a learning process. Um, I'm ready for the challenge. Most definitely I'm ready to, um, learn and to continue learning. I will do whatever it takes to make sure that he is taken care of. Um, but I don't think you're ever really ready. I think you just kind of like go with it, but I don't think you're ever really ready. You kind of just get thrown in, you know? So um, I think that's kind of a yes, no. Yes, I'm ready. Um, but at the same time, I don't know what it takes to be ready. I don't know. I'm ready to have him here. That's for sure. Um, but those are all the questions that I have. So I will have them linked down below if you guys would like to go ahead and, you know, switch these out or do some of your own. You're more than welcome to take these ones here. I think it's something fun. And also you can like look back at this later on and just think, you know, what was going through your mind um, during that.